Today, we're gonna get a blue axolotl together. If you didn't know, there are tons of axolotls. There's yellow, there's white, there's pink, but oh, then there's blue. There is the rarest thing in the game, which is the blue axolotl. It's so rare, I'll probably be recording this video for the next three days. The chance of it spawning, 0.083%. Wow. Enough complaining, let's begin. First off, get some axolotls. I got Theo and I got Leo. If you wanna breed these guys, you need to get a bucket of tropical fish. We'll make that two, one for each. The question is, do I have any tropical fish in here? I do. If I get a blue one right here on the first try, I'll shave off my beard. Leo, take that. Theo, where are you? Take that. Breed, 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 breed. Okay, good, okay, good. But that was expected. There was a 99.9% .9 chance that would happen, so odds are normal. <laughs> but I'm gonna take all these buckets here and go to a tropical ocean biome. That way I can get a ton more tropical fish and just mass breed my axolotls. Let's check my journal. Do I have an ocean somewhere nearby? Coral reef, that should do it. Roderick? Why are you so big? What happened to you? Okay. Well, as I fly over there, I will note, if you want to get your own axolotls to start breeding right away, you can find them in any body of water low to the ground. So for example, deep oceans like this could be a good place to find them. Or even underwater caves. And there it is, the coral reef. All right, show me the fishies. Aha, uh -huh, come here. So yeah, if you're doing the same thing as me, do what I'm doing. Describe as many fish as you possibly can. Side note, one day I have to make a base out in the coral reef. Like, how sick do these things look? Maybe I'm just a nature nerd, but I love of coral reefs. They're so cool. All right, I got my fish. Going back home. Flight diversion. Found an igloo. Hey guys, are you best friends but you're trapped? I'll help you. All right, friends forever. Friends forever. Bye. And we're back. All right, it's time to breed. Come on. One for you. Oh. I can't do it. I forgot to mention the breeding timer for these guys is five minutes before they can breed again. So, I need more axolotls. Well, you know what that means. Adventure part two. Now it's time to go get some more axolotls. Now, usually, as I said earlier, they can spawn in deep oceans. So sometimes they spawn over here by this little dock area. Oh, I see glow squids. And I see axolotls too. Perfect. I was correct in my assumption. Most of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you like this video, please change that. But general rule for you guys, if you can't can't find axolotls on your ocean floors, maybe go find underwater caves. That's also a great spot to find them. I also can't pick up this guy. There we go. But yeah, I found many axolotls down when I'm like mining for diamonds and stuff as well. So don't worry, they are out there. Ooh, a brown one. And a chicken golem sanctuary down here. Sorry to disturb you guys. Isn't that texture pack awesome, by the way? It makes chicken golems. Yes, my children, be free, be free. Go out there and spread the word of Farzee's channel. Tell everyone how underrated I am. Don't jump out, go back in, Theo. What are you doing? Are you, are you shy? It's okay, look, everyone likes you. Oh, you want the fish, <laughs> that's why. Also, small fact about breeding these guys. As I said earlier, there's a small chance they turn blue, but if not, they'll just be one of the parent colors. So if you want like more yellows, for example, breed yellow and white together and hope you get, you know, another yellow or just do two yellows and get more yellows. I'm sure no one's shocked by this, but just letting you know in case you're uh, new to Minecraft. No, don't eat the fish, I did, oh. Gotta carefully place the fish where they have to go. Okay, I see no blue ones yet, which was expected. But as I wait for these guys to be ready to breed again, we're gonna go make a new axolotl sanctuary. Cause I mean, I could just sit here and breed these guys over and over and over and over and over in front of your eyes, but that's a boring video. Let's go make a sick new build for our axolotl friends. So my idea is to go somewhere in like a nice open field and make a big like crater in the ground. Inside of that crater have like an axolotl pen with like, Water, rocks, lily pads, and all fun stuff that they can like play with and hop on and stuff. I think the kingdom is too full for it though, so I'm gonna have to go like outside the wall. Over here is a bit too small, it looks like. Maybe out over here where this lava pool was, which is a shame by the way, because this pool has been here since day one of my world, like five years ago. But maybe I get rid of it and put the pen right here, right at the corner of one of the walls. This is really gonna hurt. Goodbye, lava. I'm so sentimental, it's been here for so long, now it's gone. But we carry on, we don't grow attachments to inanimate objects in a video game. Yes we do. But anyways, let's begin making the axolotl crater. 
That just sounds so cool. Well, as I break all these blocks, disco break. If you're new here, I'm very weird. Soon I will have a blue axolotl. And if I don't, I'm deleting my channel. Why did I pour water on the lava? So here's the size of this thing. As you can see, it's pretty massive, but I'm gonna make it look sick. I'm gonna have like rocks along all the sides and it's gonna lead down to like a smaller pool in the middle. I know it's hard to imagine, but trust me, it's gonna be epic. But on that note, it's back to feeding time. Give me a blue one. I don't think we got a blue one. I'm also out of fish now. This is gonna be so annoying to do. But I'm gonna do it for you guys, okay? That's the video. We're gonna get a blue axolotl and we're gonna display it in our new axolotl tank. So I'm gonna keep building and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Okay, the build came out epic. But I was beginning to lose faith in getting a blue boy. I dedicated three straight days, three straight days to just live stream and breed axolotls. Nothing. Oh my gosh. I'm never gonna get one, am I? Make a blue baby. Please make a blue baby. This is awful. Give me a blue axolotl before I cry. No, 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 no. Day 87 of breeding axolotls till I get a blue one. Blue, there's no blues. There's no blues. Yeah. Like, can you believe this? Not one blue axolotl. I'm getting like 20 FPS right now. Not one blue one. But no matter, I've not given up. We're gonna continue to breed them and get a blue axolotl. But as promised, let's go showcase the new axolotl sanctuary. I actually built it pretty quickly. It only took me like one hour to build the whole thing, which is pretty impressive for any build I do. But you can see it's over, almost there, here. And check it out. So it's a giant like rock wall on the inside so the axolotls can't get out. Trust me, I baby proofed it. No one can hop out. It's literally impossible. Unless of course you're me because I'm sick at Minecraft. But yeah, we got moss, we got grass, we got a nice little lake for them with pickles, lily pads, dripstone, not dripstone. What's this thing called? Drip leaf, drip leaf. But yeah, I love this place. And plus the best part about it is it's away from the kingdom. My base is all the way over there. Sanctuary over there. And why do I care? Lag so much lag. So why don't we go break in the new home? Why don't we go move all these guys out of my cave house into their new home? All right, come on. Who's first? Let's go, Leo. Stop moving. It's so much harder than it looks. As you can see, I'm a man of high class, but also that's not even half of them. All right, here are the first settlers, the pilgrims of axolotls. Look at them. They love it. They better. But here we go. All the axolotls in one pen. It's still a little bit cramped, honestly. They're kind of, you know, on top of each other, but they got to breed. And once they get my blue one, I'll probably kill some off. You guys didn't hear that, did you? But yeah, that's pretty cramped. But yeah, all that stuff to do now is go get the blue one. That's the whole point of the episode. So I guess I'll talk to you guys when that happens. Hopefully it'll be soon. Update, I have surpassed 300 axolotls. Still no blue ones, but I will keep going. Also, if you guys didn't know, I wear glasses when I'm not recording, even though I'm recording right now. Another update, I have surpassed 500 axolotls. I am now their king. Revolution is near. Get ready, my children. But when all hope was lost, we finally got it. And you think I see in blue ones, but they're not. They're just white ones with the blue back. Not a blue one. <gasps> <gasps> ah! It's a blue one! I got him! We have a blue one! Guys, we did it! <laughs> Guys, we really did it. I have the blue boy nice and safe in one of the shulker boxes. Now I need to personally thank these axolotls. Thank you so much for all your help, you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I'd have no blue boy. So once again, thank you so much. And you guys can stay as long as you'd like. It's really up to you. I just can't get over how grateful I am. Oh gosh, what a great group of guys. Just such amazing axolotls. Models, amazing friends. They were patient, but they got the job done. Oh, I love these guys so much. Nah, guys, it's a joke. I made a backup in my world. You see, it's a joke. I was in creative mode. It's a joke. See, look, it says copy. This is just a joke. It's a big joke. See, I'm back in the real world. It was just a big prank. You got pranked. You see, I was just being silly. Just a big silly prank. I'm such a jokester. I joke so much. I'm so crazy and funny and quirky. Can't believe you guys got pranked so hard. <laughs> You know me, your everyday YouTube prankster. Okay, this bit's getting old. Here we are back in the real world. No joking anymore. I have the blue boy right here in my hand, but now we do have to get rid of some of these guys because it's just too laggy. I have like 30 FPS over here. It's unbearable. 
I think we're close to 600 total axolotls, so yeah, we gotta do something. And boy, do I have the best idea. If you guys didn't know, axolotls love to attack things in the water. So what if we use them to make a giant underwater army? I guess that'd be navy, but yes, an axolotl navy. So let's secure the blue boy in here so we know he's safe. And let's just say we make a little waterway to get out to the ocean, which is actually right over here. Excellent, excellent. Who's hungry? Who wants some tropical fish? Yes, my navy. Let's go. Revolution time. There's so many axolotls. I need all of them. Come on. Go, my babies. Let's go. Yes, the army is strong. Yes, eliminate him. I feel like I'm making a horrible mistake right now. Let's go. Let's go find a guardian temple. Oh my god, they're swarming the shrimp. Not the shrimp, what are they called? Squid. Look at this. This is incredible. <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna get them all to the guardian temple. It's like 500 blocks away. This was a terrible idea. They're not gonna despawn. I'm gonna have lag forever. Oh my gosh. In the comments, please tell me, will they despawn or am I stuck with all these guys? I should just TNT them. Okay, update. It didn't work. They all like strayed off and got lost. We couldn't go anywhere. So I'm done with this. It was a good idea. Get out, get out. You're not welcome here anymore. Leave. Kids, cover your eyes. Not even joking, by the way. It has to be done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. It has to be done. You guys are just too much, just too much. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Side note, a lot of XP from this. Also, I did some research and these axolotls, if you do not put them in a bucket, they should eventually despawn. So I think most of these guys should be good. But before I get carried away, let's take out the blue boy and let's try and grow him up really fast. Let me see if I can, uh, you know, give him some, uh, some fish. Come here, here, come here, come here, come here, blue guy. Because if I can feed him, he'll grow up faster than I can breed him. Oh, what? Oh, okay. Oh, he's grown. Perfect. Come here, blue boy. Come here. We're gonna breed you now. All right, you and you. And give me a blue baby. Give me a second blue. That's all I want. Ah, small update I figured out. If you breed axolotls, the babies don't despawn. So these guys are not gonna despawn. So I'll be busy killing them. This is terrible. Yes, we got a baby blue one. Let's go. We have another baby now. We have another blue one. I can't speak. You know what I mean? All right, I'm taking you just so I have a backup I now have a baby blue one that I can breed more and more to get more and more blue ones And now we're all set. Hopefully now you know the do's and don'ts of getting a blue axolotl Emphasis on the don'ts like for one don't release your entire population into the wild ocean unless you like bad FPS But now it's time to go and get the comment of the day if you're new here every day I get a comment from last episode and I put it up in that giant rainbow called the comment rainbow So you get how it works. Let's go get the comment of the day and today in the comment rainbow We have a new comment by a newer viewer with the name of Evoker and evoker 777 says great video far as he keep up the good work so you you can hit 200k subscribers. Small typo there. But I don't judge. I wasn't a grammar ace either. But thank you, Evoker, for the amazing comment. I appreciate your support. And yes, fingers crossed I get to 200k. I really hope so. That would be amazing. But guys, thanks so much for your support today. This was an interesting video to say the least. We had a little uh, incident over there, but we got a blue boy, so... Yeah, I just can't get past the fact that there's thousands of axolotls in the ocean right now I need to go kill them all but another day another day make sure to like subscribe do all the good stuff And I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then goodbye